guys and welcome back. I hope that you've had a really blessed week. So this week we are doing what aren't they telling you about their feelings. We're doing a little bit of detective work. Now I've put two tarot decks down. I'm actually also going to use these. These are very, very special deck um, that do give us uh, some quite inciting answers. Give us a really good insight into connections and things like that. There is nowhere to sugarcoat with these, um, but they will tell us the honest truth. And I absolutely love them. Um, can you get them now? I feel that these are out of stock. I'm pretty sure that when I looked at them before, because uh, someone asked many moons ago, that you can't actually get them anymore. Um, but they are a phenomenal deck. You might be able to get them on eBay, maybe. Um, the answer deck. Okay, so I want you to pick the deck that you are most drawn to. What aren't they telling you about their feelings? We're using both Dane Darcy decks. This is the Queen Alice, based on Alice in Wonderland tarot, and this is the Mermaid tarot. Deck number one, deck number two, pick your deck. Let's go. Deck number one. So what aren't they telling you about their feelings? So I'm just going to go into their energy. So think about your person for me. As always, it works on the strongest mutual energy between you all. What aren't they telling you about their feelings? My guide is saying two more shuffles, but then we're, we're swapping over to the answer cards, first and foremost. For <clears throat> five. Okay. So can you tell me, please, what aren't their people telling them about their feelings? is where we're going first and foremost Ooh. so you've got two cards jumping out you've got battle forgiveness the fair gray-haired woman what aren't they telling you judgment and deception okay don't panic don't panic the deception card okay what aren't they telling you about their feelings one Two cards of judgment, quite interesting. King of Wands over here, three. What aren't they telling you? Six of Wands, you're gonna like that one. Four. And the last one is Eight of Wands, okay? So in the tarot, you have a lot of Wands energy. <clears throat> so right off the bat, there is a very strong passionate energy between you both. Very strong sexual bond, very strong sexual chemistry, and it could be that they're not telling you that, or perhaps they are over telling you that and they're not talking too much about the emotional side of things, which is driving you up the wall, because you're like, can you just tell me something other than sex and what I do to you and how I turn you on? I'd like to know a little bit more depth to this. Now, the reason why <clears throat> some of you are gonna be feeling that there isn't much depth to the connection is this card of deception. So, Let's rip the band-aid off and talk about this card first and foremost. This isn't a deception of another person unless this is a third party situation. And if it is, you will know about it. OK, so those of you that don't know about it, that's because I am not talking to you. This deception card coming up over here is them lying to themselves about the situation. They are acting a lot more on the passionate sexual energy over here because they have got things that have happened in their past which they need to forgive. Now, it's quite a sweeping statement to say that the forgiveness that needs to happen in the past is to do with a grey, fair-haired woman, but perhaps with some people watching this, it will be, and again, it works with that majority energy. So your person has got beef with stuff that's happened in the past, largely to do with a woman that has been involved in their life, potentially grey-haired, fair-haired, fair but largely to do with a woman. Could be mother issues, um, it could be ex girlfriend issues ex-wife issues it could be friend issues <clears throat> wherever the energy lies there has been a betrayal that happened to them in the past and that is where they've got their gate up that is where they've got their back, back up and this is where the deception is coming in so they are lying to themselves about the situation which is why they are acting more on a passionate energy than an emotional energy and that is what they aren't telling you reason why they're not telling you the feelings um about this is because it's stuff that's happened in the past and there's still wounds here the other card that drew out over here was battle okay so they were feeling that 
in this this past situation that's happened to them that they were on guard a lot that they had their their weapons up they were they were fighting for um the connection and it didn't work out so with deception over here there it's this once bitten twice shy energy they're frightened of allowing you into their heart because of all this stuff that's happened over here and that is those hidden feelings that they aren't telling you so your person is likely to be acting more on a passionate energy with you in fact all of your cards i pulled five all of your cards apart from judgment are one's energy so all of it is this passionate energy all of it is this sexual drive energy all of this is the bond that the two of you share spirit has shared me a magnet and sometimes you two really draw towards each other and sometimes you repel from the situation as well and um, this comes back to your person over here and the battle energy and um, sometimes they will allow you into their heart and sometimes they won't um, and that's why they will often act more on a sexual energy if you're wondering are they going to commit to you and have that connection with you you will find that this five of ones energy this battle energy that's coming up over here sometimes they pull towards you sometimes they pull away from you okay um and again it all reflects stuff that's happened in the past with them they've had to they've got their got the goat up i think that's what they say in england got, got the goat up now your person will make a choice on this all right so two cards of judgment from two decks your person has a pathway okay there is a pathway with this connection there is a pathway with where it can go um most likely outcome over here is your six of ones energy that is going to work out between you guys uh, but your person has really got to let their battle down they've really got to let their their weapons down wait lay their weapons down not weigh their weapons down, lay their weapons down and make a choice on it, okay? The choice looks like it's going to be heading into your favour with your movement happening over here and your victory. Um, but what they aren't going to be telling you, probably still with that, is how they actually feel about you. So they're hiding their emotions, they're hiding their feelings for you. And again, it all comes back to stuff that's happened in the past. Um, also with this deception card, this is indicating that perhaps in the past with someone that they were with before, that they were lied to, deceived. And so again, they are scared of letting their heart be on the line. Doesn't mean they don't like you. Doesn't mean they don't have feelings for you. Doesn't mean that there is any lack of emotions for you. It's just that they are wearing their guard. They've got the guard up because of stuff that's happened. So what aren't they telling you about their feelings? They haven't allowed you into their heart 100% at the moment because they've got their guard up. Um, once that guard starts to fade, you're going to have them making a choice for a decision and it's most likely going to be into your favour. But this stuff from the past is what's blocking it and they haven't opened up to you about that because they don't want to prove, uh, don't want to appear vulnerable. And they also don't want to shoot themselves in the foot with you and so you think, oh God, here we go, another broken one. <laughs> In inverted brackets um i only want someone that's going to give me what i want um in a positive light so they are restricting themselves from telling me about this and that's step number one okay all right guys love you lots speak to you next week have a blessed one ciao okay guys deck number two so this week we are doing what aren't they telling you about their feelings now i'm going to go into both your people's decks for, um energy both your people's energy. I'm going to go into your people's energy. Um, but I'm also going to be using these answer deck, which I showed at the very start of the reading. So can you get into their people's thoughts, feelings, energy, emotions, and thought processes, and or possibilities, probabilities, choices, chances, and changes. So I'm actually going to start off with the non-sugar coating answer deck. And let's see what comes up. Let's see where we're going with this and then I will pull your tarot. So a blended reading, as they call it. Um, oh, that was fast, wasn't it? What aren't they telling them about their feelings? What aren't they telling those watching about their feelings? Just checking my hit record. I've done that before. I recorded a half hour video reading. It's a hands up. I recorded a half hour video reading and then never press the play. Record. How are they, what aren't they telling them about their feelings? Four, five, so let me just get one more. OK, 
Okay, and in fact, this one is staring me at the top, so I'm going to pull this one out as well. Your person, right off the bat, knows that this is a connection that is very spiritual. Um, they might not be spiritually inclined themselves, but the bond that the two of you share, the connection that the two of you share, the passion that the two of you share, really lit up over here as a very strong spiritual connection. Wouldn't be surprised for a lot of you guys if this is a twin flame relationship or a higher vibrational soulmate connection. So what aren't they telling those watching about their feelings? One, two. <laughs> My guy just said one, two, miss a few, 99, 100. Right, your person is more into you than they are making out. That's quite neat, isn't it? So your top cards over here, you've got the Three of Cups, you've got the Four of Wands, you've got the Page of Swords, you've got the Hanged Man in reverse, and you've got the Five of Swords. So let's get going. Let's start. Your person is more into you than perhaps they are letting on. That is the first thing, okay? And let's look at these two positives over here with the cards from the answer deck, frustration and happiness. So your person really likes you. They have very strong feelings for you. They have very strong emotions for you. Um, you do make them extremely happy. They can see a future with you. Both cards indicating that. Very positive energy. Happiness coming up over here. Now, the reason why this is going on, you have frustration. So they are getting frustrated at themselves because they you make them happy and that they can see a future with you and this scares them which is why they're frustrated okay the next card coming up to that is mistake they don't want to make a mistake with the situation they want the two of you to work out um but they're a little bit on edge on whether this is something that can work because um, it just said this in the, the previous reading, but stuff that's happened in the past has, has scorned them a little bit. And they just want to make sure that the, the person that they are settling down with is the person that they are going to have for life. Um, you guys are likely to have had past life relationships with, with the spiritual connection. Um, so this mistake energy is probably coming from a karmic energy from your previous lives. Okay, very strong connection energy goes back millions of lifetimes. Um, it's something that lingers in both of your energy. All right. They <clears throat> see you. You've got the friend card over here, but you also have faith again, really highlighting the spiritual energy. You are more than friends of them. Um, <clears throat> I know some of you are a little bit worried whether it would ever magnify into something, but the tarot over here saying that it will. You are more than friends with them. Um, you've been a light in dark times for them and they really love that about you. They really joy, enjoy the energy that you bring to the table, so to speak. They are watching you on social media. They are seeing what you're up to. They're keeping tabs on you and they are being more and more drawn to you as the days go by, Spirit is saying. Um, it's changing quite quickly, quite rapidly, um, <clears throat> where perhaps it felt like you were on the tortoise before with the connection and it wasn't really going anywhere. Now it is full steam ahead and it just showed me a train moving forward. OK, very strong energy. You've got this karmic energy coming up over here. So again, speaking of past lives with you guys, um, you might have found that this relationship has been a little bit stoppy starty because of the past life connection um, <clears throat> where there's been betrayal in the past that's now coming to a close with the hound man in reverse um so where they felt a little bit wounded a little bit here where perhaps the past life energy the karmic energy has been lingering that is now fading as well okay hound man reverse dropping these these guards of betrayal are being released so what aren't they telling you about their feelings that they're really into you that they really like you, that they know it's a spiritual connection, that sometimes they're a bit backwards and forwards and they don't really know why, but that's because of the karmic energy that will come with a more divine connection. Even if you're twin flames, you do still have an element of karma because you've lived multiple lifetimes together, so you will have accrued some form of karmic debt. Um, <clears throat> so sometimes they'll pull away, sometimes they'll come back towards you. Um, they can be a little bit conflicted with their mind over it all. They get frustrated at themselves because they know that they this relationship is can go the distance that you can be with them forever in a day <clears throat> and they get frustrated at themselves because sometimes they allow you in and sometimes they push you away but overall the energy is really strong very strong pull very strong spiritual connection and a very strong celebration energy over here if they haven't communicated to you that to you yet you will find communication coming forward most likely to be over internet or whatsapp rather than a general message um 
internet energy coming forward, maybe potentially Instagram, etc, etc. Spirit are saying, just to close off the reading, that they do look up to you, which is quite nice, um, as well. They're saying that they know that you've had a hard life um, or difficult times. Um, they know that, they're aware of that, they see that, and that you've come forward from this and that you are this power energy now, that you're this powerful person and they get really, really drawn to that about you as well. So they love that side of you coming up in their emotions for you, which is pretty neat too. And that is what they're not telling you about their feelings. They're really into you, really into you. They've just got this kind of little guard up. Um, and I'm just going to ask quickly, because we've got a bit of time, what you can do to, for the guard to get dropped. Is there anything these guys can do to help their people drop their guard? Okay, it's a matter of timing. <clears throat> it's a matter of timing with the death card. This is them releasing stuff from the past. It's not about you guys. Um, but a matter of timing, they're letting go of stuff that's happened from the past in previous lifetimes. Karmic debt, um, karmic debt often kind of has a sell-by date. <laughs> It sounds ridiculous, but it does. I don't know if you guys have ever visited the Akashic Records, but if you can meditate and you can get up, get up there and you can see, um, you'll find that you'll see the expiry date of a lot of your karmic energy. So clearing that karmic energy, Knight of Cups, Knight of Pentacles, movements. Okay, so through releasing and surrendering this karmic energy, you've got this movement forward based on love, based on stability, based on security. It's a matter of letting it all play out, really, which is quite nice. That's quite good because it suggests the movement there um, and with your celebrations popping in right at the start, your four of ones, which is your marriages, your parties, your celebrations and your three of cups, social gatherings, parties, celebrations, happiness, happy outcomes. You are really into you. They've just got to release those fears. All right, guys, that's take number two. Love you to pieces. See you next week. Ciao.